live from Las Vegas, this is Inside the Line with Marco D'Angelo. It is for the weekend starting October 3rd. I'm going to preview two college football games and two NFL plays for you, give you four free selections, and tell you what I've got going on this weekend with my selections. Let's get right into the college football action. And we're going to start things with a game on late night Saturday action. We're going to go with the Houston, Texas El Paso game. Now, this is a situation for Houston as they're coming off, pulling off back to back upsets against Big 12 teams. They beat Oklahoma State, and then last week in a thriller, last second win, they pulled out a win against Texas Tech. This is a horrible spot for Houston this week. They must travel now to play in-state rival Texas El Paso. Texas El Paso, this is their season. They start conference play now. They need to get a win badly, and they are a dangerous home dog. You've got the fact that Houston's coming off two big Cloud Nine type wins. I expect them to come into this game flat. They don't play a lot of defense, and Texas El Paso should be able to move the ball. Big spread here. I look for this game to go down to the wire with the last team who has the ball getting the win. That means we've got to take the points with Texas El Paso. This line opened up at minus 14 and a half, and immediately the line went as high as 16 and a half on the Houston side. But as the week went on, the sharp players came in and started betting the underdog Texas El Paso team. This line is now down to 14 here in Las Vegas, and that's a key number at 14. I am going to look for Texas El Paso to get the money on Saturday. Also note, it's homecoming for Texas El Paso. Another added advantage. Let's take the home dog here with Texas El Paso. Another game we're going to take a look at is Wyoming travels to play Florida Atlantic. Now, why would I even look at a game like this, you might ask yourself. Well, we're looking for value, and value is here because this is a game that Wyoming could care less about. Wyoming's coming off of playing Texas, Colorado, and UNLV in their last three games. A thrilling come-from-behind win over UNLV last week. Now they got to travel across country to play Florida Atlantic in the Florida heat in the middle of the afternoon. This is a 4 o'clock game tomorrow. This is going to be a spot where Wyoming mails it in. Look for Florida Atlantic. They're 0-3. They need a win, but two of those losses came against Nebraska and South Carolina, two very good ball clubs. Look for Florida Atlantic to get the win today. I like them. I have them winning this game 27 to 14. The line is minus three and a half. Should be an easy cover. Take Florida Atlantic. Now, before we move on to the NFL games for Sunday, I want to tell you what's happening on Saturday. And you got to act early, folks, because I am making a major play on Saturday, and it's on a 12 noon Eastern start. Last Saturday, my big game, it was a 10 star college football shocker. It was a shocker. Virginia Tech plus three rolled over Miami 31 to seven. If you liked that big winner last week, wait till you see what I got tomorrow. It's my biggest play of the year so far. My first 15 star of the football season. This is my college football massacre of the month. It's an early start. I've already got down on this game big here in Vegas. I want you to do the same. You can join me, get Three plays on my early package tomorrow. I'm going to have this big 15-star play and two other college football plays, all for $35. You can check it out at pregamepros.com. Now, let's get to the NFL for Sunday. Uh, and this first play is going to be an ugly one, folks. You'll have to hold your nose when you go to the betting window. But, folks, that's what betting's about. That's why there's a point spread. It lets ugly teams get the money. And we're going to go with a very ugly team, the Cleveland Browns, on Sunday. This is an absolute horrible spot for Cincinnati. Cincinnati is coming off of beating the Pittsburgh Steelers last week 
and next week play the Baltimore Ravens. They could be playing for first place against the Ravens next week. I look for Cincinnati to be flat. They're going to look past Cleveland and be looking ahead to the Baltimore game. Cleveland switching quarterbacks this week, going back to Anderson. This is the right move. He's going to give the team some veteran leadership. Look for Cleveland to pull the upset on Sunday. That's right, the upset. 24-20, to 20. take Cleveland. I'm seeing them plus six right now at home. Good spot for the home dog, take Cleveland. And our last free pick for Sunday, I'm going to go to the Tennessee-Jacksonville game. And I like this game to go under the total. The number opened at 41. It's currently sitting at 41 and a half. Tennessee at 0 and 3 is their season's on the line on Sunday. So they're going to be playing with a high sense of urgency. Look for them to play basic game. They're going to run the ball, try to protect that defense. It's been giving up big chunks of yards. But the thing is, Jacksonville's offense, the passing game is not that threatening. So I look for Tennessee to try to shorten the game when they have the ball by running the ball. And Jacksonville doesn't have that quick score capability this year, and they'll take some long drives as well. The fact that Vegas brought this number out at 41 tells me they want you to bet the over. After all, both of these teams have gone over the last two weeks, yet Vegas sets this total as the lowest total of the year on a Jacksonville game. I like this game under the number. I'm projecting a final score in between 31 and 35 points, easily keeping us under the total. Let's take Jacksonville, Tennessee under the total. That's going to wrap up this week's Inside the Line. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be here each and every week where we'll break down some games for you. I'll tell you what I've got going big on the weekend, and hopefully you'll be able to join me and we'll all cash the tickets together. I'll talk to you next week. This is your host, Marco D'Angelo, wishing you the best of luck with all of your wagers this weekend.